And what's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we're gonna look at and try out the Switcher app. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca and here we go. So today we're gonna look at the Switcher app. I will only just recently try this out and checked it out. So it's I'm fairly new with this as well, but I think it's a very powerful app. I've been looking for an app uh, like this for a long time where you go live stream and you have all these perks where ever since I've been using uh, Streamlabs and then OBS Studio, these programs need PC and with this app, you'll be able to go live stream and edit your live stream as well. So here we go. So as of right now, this is a free app with uh, added pro additions on the app stores. So what you need to do is just go to the app store, search for switcher, There you go, and it's uh, Switcher Studio. Go ahead and download that, and sign up, and open. So you once you open it, you're gonna go to this page. What you need to do is uh, just press Use as Switcher. You can also have an option. You have an option to do a remote camera mode, but we're not gonna do that today. This is gonna be another video, so stay tuned. But uh, we're today we're just gonna focus on Use as Switcher. When you open the app, it'll be basic like this. It'll show your built-in camera, which is this guy right here. You can switch the camera from front to back by doing that. See that? You see us right there? That's the front of the camera. There you go. So basically, you don't need a PC to, to have a studio like this. And all you need is the, the app and you're good to go. So pretty basic like this, you can go ahead and start up your show. You can ha add a welcome to the show, kind of like that. So whatever you see here, this is the one that will go to the live stream. So to connect uh, where you want to stream this, you can click that and they have all these options, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn Live, uh, Twitch, I didn't even know there's a LinkedIn Live, so they have that option as well. So just put in your credentials by pressing this arrow right here. To add an input, um, what you need to do is click this. And you can add photos, videos, uh, text and graphics, logo, inputs, and multiviews. So let's try uh, putting in a text and graphics right there. So let's say you want something on the lower thirds. You can put that like that and add in add in your logo or your uh, website, kind of like this. So this you can edit your website. I'm just going to leave it like that for uh, testing purposes. So just press done. So when you click that now, it'll show down there. Little ad for your website. And if you don't want it, you can take it off. This is a well, welcome screen, like I said earlier. Let's say you wanted to do a um, conference call with someone. So I'm gonna use this iPhone for that. What you need for this iPhone is also the Switcher app. Or even if you don't have the app, you can also just uh, airdrop the link. What we need to do now to have a conference call with this phone, you need to go to this button right here, video chat. So what you need to do is join a room. You need to invite video chat guest. We'll try to invite this by airdropping like that. As you could see there, it prompted. Now you have to allow the microphone and the camera. There you go, add the name that you want and join the room. Now that you were able to call your friend, you can now show the guests as sources by clicking that and it'll come up up there. So now to edit that, select this, select that, and edit. You can change the frames as well. Maybe do that, so that it's in landscape mode. You can have edge spreading, outer color, press done, this is good for now. So now for example, you wanted to have a split view where you can see this camera right here and then this camera from the iPhone. Um, you can add multi-views. 
we can go with split, slots, flap, whatever you want. So let's try most of them. So sources are two. There you go. You click that and then you press which is A, which is B. So let's go A and then B. As you can see there, it'll start to have that multi view right onto the live uh, screen. So let's just test out another view. Let's say split view. Sure. Again, you can edit the split view onto this uh, options right here. You can have a center like that or split view like that. So let's try this out. Let's have fun with it. Again, click and click. There you go. Now you'll see the one side of our of my screen right there. Again, if you wanna edit that, all you need to do is press select, click the one you want to edit, and press the edit button right there. Let's see, I want it to be centered. There you go, let's try this again. And we're good to go. So now let's test out another thing that the Switcher Studio can do, where you are on a live stream like this. You also wanna show something on your phone screen. First, you need to download the app called Switcher. So once you've downloaded the app on your iPhone or whatever device you are using, so once you've downloaded the app, you can go to Settings, Control Center, Customize Controls. Make sure to add screen recording on top of your view right there. Once you've done that, then you can go to Control Center and you'll see this button right here, which is the screen recording. So once you see that button, you can long hold it or 3D touch it, scroll down to switch your cast. Once you've done that, you can also turn on or off your microphone. In this case, we don't have to because we will need to get the sound from the game itself or the PowerPoint that you want to project. So let's press start broadcast. Now in order to do this, you need your your device, both of your devices uh, needs to be in the same Wi-Fi. So once it's the same Wi-Fi, as you could see there, it was able to see it. So now we can click on that and it'll show up there. With this as well, you can flip your, your uh, orientation of your device, whichever way you want it. So now to show it here, all you need to do is add another multi view. And let's say you wanted a picture in picture where the game is over here and your face over here and press done. So once you have that, then you'll be able to show your screen and yourself. There you go, making sure that yourself is on the B side. So now let's test it out. For example, let's say I wanted to play uh, Hyperlight. There you go. Now if again, if the, if the game is lopsided like that, you can flip it to the proper orientation you want it. It's pretty good. Um, you will see myself right in there. See, this could be you doing the live stream and this could be you playing the game at the same time. Now, during this, you can also use uh, PowerPoint. So for example, you're on a church style of event or maybe you're doing a presentation. There you go, one of your presentations like that. Maybe you're showing something from your phone and you want to show your your presentation, all you need to do is press play on your keynote and I will play. You guys can see my whatever on my screen. Now there's so many things that you can use like effects, transitions, and multi-views as well. Um, this is just the transition between the multi-views. You can change that as well. You can have the camera control from this device uh, zooming in, uh, stabilization, all that jazz. You can also change the built-in microphone. You can have auxiliary channels, as you could see there, recorded but not included in the final composition. Um, you can put a dongle right here, a converter, and from USB-C to um, USB device, and add in your microphone, your camera, and all the gadgets you need from a mixer even. Uh, so that you can have the best production. They also have a uh, Facebook poll polling. You can load polls or 
um, you can even uh, make your, make one yourself. You would see the comments right here on the Facebook chat or whatever um, HDM you are uh, you're live stream to. Maybe it's in YouTube or Twitch or something like that. Again, this is for uh, calling or inviting someone on a video chat outside of your house. Uh, call them anywhere in the world and uh, this is uh, where it's gonna go. You just need a link and you just need to invite them. You can also display a scoreboard right there. Maybe you're live streaming a game or something like that and you can add a uh, home or visitor. You can have different templates and you can even edit more uh, properties with it and that's it thanks for watching guys uh, if I was able to help you make sure to hit that subscribe button below hit that like button as well and comment below what else uh, you want me to show on uh, how to use the switcher app I will be doing more uh, tutorials on this so stay tuned I'm just waiting for I ordered a dongle or a converter for my uh, for a USB-C for my iPad and uh, I'm going to show you how I can uh, hook up the Lumix camera that I'm using right now and the uh, and, uh, microphone that I'm using right now to record this. If you have something else to add on to this app that I didn't mention, make sure to put that on the comments below. Again, I am very new at this app. Uh, Switcher Studio is one and only app. On, on, on the App Store where you can get the full amount of your OBS Studio straight to your iPad. No more PC, get rid of your computer. All you need is an iPad. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.